Hello and welcome back everybody to the Intricate Effects server. This is one Fred Jones and today we're going to take a little break from the redstone over at the uh, pig race track to do a little magic. We have a little special edition magic episode today and uh, I'll tell you what we're doing. I'm going to do it all on camera so that you know there's nothing up my sleeves. We are going to make a potion of harming or a potion of instant damage from scratch without using a potion of instant health. Okay, you guys ready for this? We're going to start. We're going to put down potion brewing stand. I got everything in my inventory currently that you guys, that we're going to need, and you guys will see. No glycerin melon. So we got one, our mushrooms, our nether wart, sugar, spider eyes, water bottles. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. Throw those guys in. Throw the nether wart in here. Now, this really truly is magic. Do not try this at home. All right. Here we go. Second, we're going to put in a spider eye. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and show you we got mundane, or I mean awkward potions. Awkward potion, awkward potion, no effects, no effects. Okay. Spider eye. Okay, and while that's brewing up, let's go ahead and throw a mushroom in here with some sugar and a spider eye. Oh, I just threw it all on the ground. Aha, oops. Okay, let's try that again. Sugar, spider eye, fermented spider eye. Okay, that goes in next. Potion of poison, right now. Okay, fermented spider eye. While this brews up, we'll talk a little bit about uh, Mr. Vorland's last video. Mr. Vorland put out a video um, pretty much solely about me, and I'm really glad the guy wanted to spend that much time talking about me. That's great. Obviously, I'm affecting his life in, in some way. Um, one of the things he talked about was, oh, let's look at this. What? Potion of harming? Instant damage? Voila! Viola! Abracadabra! Poof! That's pretty cool, huh, guys? Yeah, I wouldn't try that at home. No, seriously, though, um... In Mr. Vorland's last video, he dedicated it to me, and I want to thank him for that. Um, he called me a stick in the mud, too, and then he talked to me about economics. So we're going to give Mr. Vorland a little bit of an eco economic lesson right now. Um, let's grab some gold. That's not my gold chest. That's not my gold chest. There we go, gold. I'm going to take this gold. We're going to go and break it down into nuggets. And then we're going to grab this melon and put it there. And then we only need eight of those. Okay. And then let's put all but two of these in here. Oops. One there and one here. And then one sugar here, one sugar there. Let's go ahead and space these over a little bit so you guys really get an idea of what's going on here. Um, one there, one there, okay, that and that. Okay, now I would go get the bottles and everything to really show you guys what this is about. Let's go and grab another one of these, put it there. Now I want you guys to tell me economically which way... Oh, I put that stupid spider in the wrong column. Um... Economically, I want you guys to tell me which way is the better way to make this potion. Um, both ways you get the same effect, right? You get a potion of instant damage or a potion of harming. Um, but economically, which way is the best way? This one requires two spider eyes, like so. This one requires a slice of melon, eight gold nuggets, which is almost an entire gold ingot and the same ingredients as the top one so please let me know um, in the comments economically which potion or which method of making the same potion is more economical um, I think I, my way is a little bit better than Mr. Vorland's way so um, Mr. Vorland uh, you asked in your, your episode how long have I been playing the game or if I know how to play the game um, I've been playing this game a lot longer than you have. Uh, 
if I do make a mistake or I, I do something wrong, call me out on it. But please be correct. Please be correct. It's, it's really unfortunate that you're teaching your viewers to make this potion the wrong way. Wow. All right. And really, I'm not a stick in the mud. Don't call me a stick in the mud. That's messed. It hurt my feelings. You call me a stick in the mud. I'm a fun-loving guy. Jeez. If you just lower your prices, everything will be fine, and we'll have to. We will be able to stop this back and forth. All right. Gosh. Shouldn't challenge people like me. It's not a good idea, dude. But anyways, um, I've got one other thing planned for this episode, and uh, I'll bring you guys right back. All right, guys, we're over here at Agent A's Complaints and Grievances, Grievances Office, and we're going to go in here and see if we can't do something about this Mr. Vorland situation. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Good, Mr. A, how you doing? I'm doing still terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been five minutes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right, <clears throat> yeah, anyway. All right, so... Uh, how can I help you? Where's your book at? I was going to read your book. Oh, I put it it's up in the item frame. Oh, it's an item frame? Yeah. It doesn't go in the payment chest, huh? N no, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, uh, go Yeah, go ahead and grab yourself the book there. Take a look-see. All right, so your service provides... Uh, face murdering? Face murdering. <laughs> right. So basically, if uh, you have a grievance against another intricate effect member we can come to you with that said grievance and you will take care of it yes i will politely talk to them politely talk to them and then murder their face maybe not necessarily in that <laughs> order <laughs> what if you i will if you have a dispute with another member on the server, it has to be a legit claim. You can't, you know, just come in and say, oh, I don't like him or whatever. And you have a legit, legitimate beef with this guy, right? I do. And, so, and, and I mean, uh, we'll go into that a little bit. I mean, he, he pranked. The prank wasn't so bad. As, I mean, I don't mind getting pranked. But he, he put a zombie dance floor behind my uh, brick oven, which was mm -hmm. bringing hostile mobs into spawn. That's, right. that's one I, of the yeah, things he did. Yeah, I saw that earlier. That was uh, kind of weird. Yeah, and then um, uh, his late in his latest video, he he attacked me, um, kind of on a personal level. He attacked my intelligence. Yeah, I saw that. That was kind of rude, I guess. Right, uh, right. Yeah, and you know, he did mention that he would lower his prices in his uh, potion shop. Mm hmm. So you know, I don't know if he's going to lower them enough. I really, honestly, I mean, we got we got to deal with it some way or another. Right, okay, and what I'm going to do for you, Fred, is I will have a talk with Mr. Vorlin. Um, I will leave him probably a, a book explaining my um, visit and w whatever else may happen. And I will take care of it for you. I will get him to lower his prices and, yeah. We'll take care of it. And I, another thing that I want not to happen, I mean, part of the reason why I'm here, I would just go kill him myself, but, I, you know, I need him to know, number one, I'm not really upset with him, um, but he needs to learn a lesson and hopefully know he doesn't treat any other intricate effectors the way he's treated me. Right. And that's exactly why I have opened up this office. Awesome. So, and I understand your required payment is, you know, one diamond per grievance but i'm gonna pay you two two okay. diamonds because okay because i know i'm gonna get great great service from you all right thank you and well done on that achievement uh, thank you by the way thank you very uh, great job i've never given so, anyone diamonds before <laughs> i will look into this uh issue uh immediately and i hope to have some results for you well I guess all I can say is as soon as possible. Okay. And I'm not worried about the time frame. I'm sure you'll uh, take care of it in a timely manner. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get over there and we'll have a, have a talk with Mr. Borland. Awesome. All, all right. right. Thanks, Agent. Th thanks for stopping by, man. All right. Bye. Later.
All right, guys, well, that concludes our special edition episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good night.